good morning from a very rainy London. I I don't know if I can do it another rainy winter. It's so gray and so gloomy and when my alarm goes off, when the weather is like this, I mean, I'm sure everybody in the UK is the same. It's like, no, it's so hard to wake up in the morning. And I'm, I would consider myself a morning person. So I don't know what that's all about. Um, but anyways, I am driving to Daisy, to the Daisy office. And we're gonna chat all about our plans. I think we might plan a new, little mini shoot um, to get some Christmas and some New Year's imagery. So I think we're gonna have a little chat about that, which will be good. Okay, so we are creeping into Ruth's office and she's not here today. I love to see her mirror water journal. And oh, she's got like cute little drawings from her kids and all this jewelry. Okay, well, that is done. And now I'm having my lunch. Some chicken soup with a little bread with this. If you are a herb and garlic girly, you already know. You already know. And I'm going to watch the new season of Big Mouth while I eat and just slowly immerse myself into the work day. I have to go out later, but I, I'm gonna be honest, I had a little nap and I need to sort myself out and I need to fix my hair and fix my makeup, but I just had like the 26 minute nap. The ideal nap and I'm kind of procrastinating. A couple vlogs ago, I mentioned a little something and it seemed to go down really well, so I wanted to feature another one so if there's children watching maybe fast forward and parents fast forward too because today i want to talk about this and i've spoken about this before this is the lelo dot cruise it is the next generation in clitoral pinpoint sensation and i've spoken about this before and it really is a pinpoint experience. It's a vibrator created with unseen precision. Look at this point. And it features a revolutionary elliptical motion for multiple orgasms, people. Very precise. It's got something called infinite loop technology and this tip is actually bendy and it's made of silicone. This vibrator is really unique because of the precision. It eliminates any numbness that you might feel in the area when you're using, say, a traditional vibrator. And because you are eliminating that numbness, you can really go to town and have multiple orgasms coming from all angles. Unlike other sex toys that tend to use predictable movements that I'm sure we've all experienced. The Lalo Dot Cruise is really surprising in the different sensations that you get. There are eight pleasure settings on this, and of course you've got full control in the way you use it, and of course it varies in intensity throughout the different modes. So you can opt for something like a murmur, or you can opt for more of a pulse sensation. So by now, you guys know I'm a fan of Lelo and their sex toys. <laughs> I think they're made really well. They're made for adventurous people, curious people, and anyone seeking new experiences and someone who wants to kind of push the boundaries. The holidays are approaching, are they not? And for some of you out there, I know Tinder is just not hitting the mark like you want it to be. So why not take matters into your own hands and check out the Black Friday deals on the Layla website. I will leave a link in the description box below. And you can also enjoy an extra 10% off with my code ESTAY10. Plus you can also expect luxurious makeup gifts with your purchase, which would be ideal for family and friends. There are substantial discounts on the site, so definitely check it out. I'm running super late, but I just want to show you. You can see like this thing is bendy and you can really just get it exactly where you want it, you know? It's a very unique little device. I also just love the, um, the design. Okay, whoa. 
<laughs> the days just go by so fast and I am late for dinner, but the girls that get it, get it. I need to Hoover before I go because I just cannot leave with this flat and more of a mess than it already is. And I've just done the dishes and cleaned the kitchen, so I just need to quickly Hoover. Gosh, that feels good. Woo. You gotta get your kicks somehow, right? I think I'm here. Aw. So this little baby has to go in her crate. I know. Uh, but she actually likes it. <sighs> she gets quite um, anxious when we leave her alone. I was kind of against the crate training thing, so I was like, it's so cruel. But actually, she's she just like sleeps in there. She's never stressed when we get home. And I think it's just all around better for her. Now this is what every pet owner has to do when they wear black. Good morning. It's about a week later, I think. I don't even remember if I started this vlog yet. It has been a whirlwind. I am chewing the best piece of gum. I got this in New York when I was there. I love this gum. Watermelon. Mm, okay, I am going to an event. It is a Pilates event. I'm not dressed for Pilates. I'm hosting the event. It is Mirror Water and the Under Days, which I'm currently wearing their underwear right now. And we are joining forces to do a, a little event at a place called Studio Anatomy which is such a gorgeous studio and uh, it should be fun. We've got two groups of people coming and then tomorrow I have a daisy shoot and I have no one to watch Effie because my fiance is so weird to say that. <laughs> it's just so weird. Um, he has to be in the office and I just like did not plan that properly. So Effie is gonna go to our friend's house her name's Jess, and um, Effie's never been there before, so I'm like kind of panicking that she's gonna be scared, but she's all right. You know, I can't always be so protective of her, but I just know her and I know she's gonna be like, where am I? But anyway, that's tomorrow's problem. So now, let's go watch people do Pilates. Welcome to Studio Anatomy. You're the founder. And your name is? Lottie. And tell everyone about Studio Anatomy. Studio Anatomy opened in January, so we're just about coming up to a year. Yep. Um, we are in London Fields, and we are reformer Pilates only. We've got 10 beds. Um, and we're all about just being in a lovely environment. Yeah. Really dynamic, fun classes. Um, real strong sense of community here. Um, everyone's welcome. Um, you know, what I like about Pilates is it's strong yet soft. Exactly. And I love that. You come away feeling like the muscles are shaking, but you also have a sense of calm. Well, yeah, what's with that? Calm. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and hopefully a big smile on your face when yeah. you leave. <laughs> exactly. So come check it out. Gorgeous oh studio. God. Here are the little cubbies. We've got the underdays bag and the mirror water tote. What a beautiful collaboration. Little drinks and nipples, which are adorable. This is not your average Pilates studio, everyone. We have the Rolls Royce of Pilates beds right here. And yes, it might look like a torture room, but it's a heavenly, heavenly room. If you've never tried Reformer Pilates, you should definitely try it. Look at how beautifully done everything is. And I'm here. And while I'm here, I'm wearing this top today. My bag is kind of ruining it right now. But it's a little off the shoulder number. I think it is so cute. So she's just launching and I'm gonna link her brand in the description box because this top is adorable and super easy to wear. Watch the girlies. Okay, Underdays founders, or just one, 
Let's gather round. What are you doing? How do you feel the event went today? I think it went so well. I think it was such a natural partnership. It was. So much love. It was gorgeous. Uh, yeah, I love just the whole element of self-care. Yes, and yeah. underwear is self-care. Yes. That's so. what we're trying to tell everyone. So yes. yes. Underwear is self-care. What is under days? The under days. What is it? Um, under days is all about the idea that women deserve underwear products that are just as good as the other products in their lives. So why is it that we have amazing skincare brands, amazing beauty brands, amazing brands like Mirror Water, but we actually have yeah. such terrible underwear and, and it feels like a category that is just not caught up. Um, I totally agree. And I think we're similar in the sense that Mirror Water is trying to upgrade the body category. Yeah, yes. You're trying to upgrade the underwear category. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Good morning from the Daisy shoot. I have dropped off my little girl Effie at my friend's house and I'm gonna insert some pictures of her here that they just sent me. My heart! In the car on the way to drop her off, I was saying sometimes mommies have to go to work. I just love her so much. But anyway, someone that's about to be a real mommy, Scarlett. <laughs> Hello. Can we pan down on the bump? Here it is. Oh my gosh. And Ready to draw. You're due today, basically. <laughs> well, next week. Well, who knows? <laughs> we, can, we can turn this into like a labor the thing first later Daisy on. Daisy baby. <laughs> right, so what were you we doing today? We're going yeah. to... We've got a lot. Yeah, we've got tons of things going on here. We're gonna do some Christmas looks today. Oh, I think we are. That is yes. just sexy to look at, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> what shade is that? This is the form by Refi. It's brand new, so we can actually go straight in, but it's super pretty. And then go. Oh my. Stunning. You're on Allison cam right now. Allison's in charge of the vlog, and we are in this adorable Reformation dress. Scarlett's nailed the makeup and hair. And I've got my little Manolo shoes and some tights. Unfortunately, I did this. Something kind of about it. Um, and we're going to do the first look. It's a silver look, so we've got some snake chains. And we're going to do the bold maxi hoop by the thing. Yeah. Okay, rings wise, we're going to do the Trinity ring, the wavy flow. flow. This is the thin. Thin Thea, mm -hmm. the Thea stacking ring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this is the curve chain mm. um, ring. And it's bendy, that's what I love about this ring. Stunning, do you yeah. think that's enough? Yeah. So cute! Oh wow, that's perfect. That's a campaign shot right there. Yeah, good job. All right guys, first shot is happening now. It's about 11.30. It's the first one's always the toughest and then we just bosh it out. So let's go. Your cheeks are gonna hurt by the end Beautiful of the day though. Smile that way. That's nice. Oh wow. That's really nice. It's so beautiful. I mean, I can really go for it. <laughs> Can you do the uh, Victoria Beckham? I can't go that far, but I can probably get this like quite high up. Don't ask how I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Just going to put these on my okay. okay, so we just shot a little video to show the difference between yeah. the snake chain and the long snake chain. Because we get asked that question so much, and I get it. It's like, do I go long? Do I go short? I don't know. So this is the short, and this is the long snake chain. So I wouldn't say I have a particularly thin neck. It fits nicely. I wouldn't say I have a thick neck either. I like wearing both. You can wear them together, you can wear them separate. My mom, for instance, prefers the long. I think short is like a little cooler, but I also wear long all the time too. So what does that say? They're both cool. We are in look number two. We're wearing this gorgeous suit. Everything I'm wearing, I'm gonna link down below so you can check it all out. And I'll try to link to similar things because some of this stuff is like a little spenny. But one in Rome. And Ruth's gonna add the wavy snake chain to this look. And I'm loving it. We were just talking about how much we absolutely love the forever chain, which is the thinner chain. It's just the most gorgeous 
necklace. Whenever someone doesn't know what to get as a gift, I'm like, you literally can't go wrong with the Forever Chain. And it's a good price point. Can we get a price check on the Forever Chain? Man, Forever Chain in gold? That's coming back from my days working in retail when I used to say, can we get a price check on the toilet paper? Canadians will know. I worked at a place called Zellers. Yes, I did. I worked at the customer service desk. I thought you worked at Tim Hortons. Yeah. I did, I worked at Tim Hortons. Can I get a price check on the donut? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear Sorry. you. Sorry, can you repeat that? 69 pounds for the forever chain. Wow, that is such a good price for that. It's such a beautiful piece and then 49 in silver. Love it. So we're gonna do the shoot, this, the shot in this chair. We're just gonna add on a few more bracelets and then away we go. And so have this arm back so it looks more open. I'm spending more on that spinning. Kate, you just went to get the bagels. Woo! Tell so me many. about them. We've literally got so many. Oh my gosh. And I can't wait to eat. And this is like a famous place here that you've been to, right? Yeah, I queued up. For about an hour. Oh my god. Yeah, it was insane. It's called It's So Bagels. It's Bagels. It's bagels. <laughs> so we've got tons of these puppies. Yeah. I've seen this on TikTok. I can't wait. Rebecca has come through with the photos. She's already popped them in a little, um, what are these called again? Mood board. Mood board. They're looking so nice. Love, love, love. Okay, we're on to look. One, two, three, four. Which is, we're not, God, I look gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Normally when I look at myself in the vlog camera, I will be like, haven't brushed my teeth in three days, like hair everywhere. So this is a nice change. I am underneath there. Um, gosh, I just wish I could do my own makeup like this. Oh man. You can, I need to teach you. Think of how many lessons I've had. I just. I know, I know. The, it's the eye makeup, and I, I bought the thing you recommended, the groundwork, and I have everything that I need to make this. Wow. Anyway, we're gonna go do this look in a like sequiny skirt. Okay, that is a wrap. Thanks, everyone. Woo! Everyone's like, really? We're making this clap? But yeah, so now that's done, I'm heading to my friends to go pick up Effie. I can't wait to see her, I hope she's okay. I've had like updates and she's been doing very well. I have had a day, a busy day. I forgot to bring my camera with me this morning, but earlier today I got a chance to record a podcast with Grace Beverly, which was really crazy. It happened really quickly and then just, anyways, turns out I went over there this morning. So insert a clip from this morning here. Surprise. I feel so awkward on vlogs. I literally just froze like, I'm here with the Grace Beverly. What the hell? It's so crazy to be here because I stalk you religiously and I'm obsessed with LinkedIn. So I always see oh everything that's going on on I'm LinkedIn. I'm such a LinkedIn bro. I love LinkedIn. Wow, if you love LinkedIn, you'll be seeing me. I love it. I actually, I really love LinkedIn and we kind of have this joke because my um, manager, when we first started working together, she was like, I love LinkedIn. We've got to be all over LinkedIn. And totally. I was like, I, I, the, when I think of LinkedIn, I think of the TikTok videos that are like, on the way to work today, I saw a duck and I gave him a job and he turned out to be the uncle of the founder of the company. Yeah. That's what I think of LinkedIn. And that's me on LinkedIn. You know why I like LinkedIn is because it's Hinge for business people. I love it. And since I'm engaged now, I can't go on Hinge anymore. So, um, so if anyone's watching and doesn't know who you are, who are you in a nutshell? Oh, in a nutshell. Well, since we're here, I have a podcast yes. um, where I like to talk to lots of different people. Like I, it's kind of a curated mix of things I think will improve your life. So whether it's founders, whether it's just people with interesting stories, whether it's we've had um, an amazing, we've had an amazing person talking about like the housing crisis, like the economy, the climate crisis, a refugees journey, like everything that's meant to kind of things you should know about. Um, and then also I run a business or th three just uh um that sounded like so dickish like i'm so no, sorry it didn't, like, it it didn't. i said a business and then i felt i bad heard for the this children. your puffer jackets mm. i mean i'm i i heard a number 
out mm. in the ether. Congrats. Mm. Thank you. If you Thank haven't you. got your hands on the puffer, I mean, who hasn't got their hands on the puffer? <laughs> Sounds like everyone has the puffer. Um, it's called Tala. Mm. I actually need some Tala. Well, we can get you some Tala. Okay, I need some Tala. Done. Sold. Anyway, I came home. I had some meetings. I was actually interviewed by Elle magazine. This day, it has been very exciting. And now I fixed my hair and did my makeup and got into like a cute little look because I'm heading to Big in Hackney where I'm going to be co-hosting an event with Jules, the founder of The New Co, which is a really awesome wellness brand. They have um, these things called functional fragrances, um, which is supposed to help with your mood. And then they also do supplements. And we are joining forces tonight to chat all about health over hustle. Although I feel like lately all I've been doing is hustling and not prioritizing health, but um, that's what we're gonna talk about tonight. So let's quickly head on over there. There's also gonna be like a DJ and some popcorn. It's gonna be really fun. We're here at Big. I'm technically still not, um, we haven't started yet, so I'm trying to quickly do this. Anyways, I'm here with Jules, the founder of Nuco. How the hell are you? How are you? I'm fine. Can you tell everyone? Sorry, I cut you off, but I just want to know about the new What is it? So, I launched New Crow seven years ago. Uh, we're a health and wellness brand. All of our products are sustainable, clean, clinically proven. Um, yeah, we were based out of New York, not in New City. New York is the best. Amazing. I saw your huge billboards across London. When would that have been? A year ago? Uh, about most 2020. I think it would have been like a big A year ago? Two years ago. Wow. Yeah, so they, they were very cool. And we're going to have a nice little event here. These paper popcorn bags. Love it. Don't tell anyone it's Tesco popcorn inside. <laughs> Thank you so much for making it here tonight, especially if you are not from East London. I think that's a real trek and we really appreciate um, you being here. It's incredible. Um, for those of you who may not have been here before, my name is Mareka and I'm one of the co-founders of Big Beauty. We opened six months ago last weekend, so we've hit our half birthday, I guess, <laughs> yeah, which is super exciting. And God, it's been a bit of a blur, but it's been so amazing. It's our second event with Estee, which is exciting. I just can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. Always here. Um, and our first event with Jules, which is super exciting from the new co. Good morning. Last night, what a night. I got home around 10.30. I was so tired, but it was a great, great night. Thanks to everyone who came out. And it was great getting to know Jules, the founder of the new co. And, um, the event was all about kind of like slowing down. So this morning when I woke up, I looked at my calendar and I don't have any meetings until 10. And I thought, I need to slow down. <laughs> I need to take my own advice. So I'm walking little baby girl in the woods. I live quite close to the marshes. So it's not that far away for me to just escape to the forest and this is my happy place, as we all know. And it just feels so good. I've had a busy week, so it's nice to slow down. And Effie deserves it. 